I've never seen a solar probe with this kind of configuration before. Have you data? Welcome back to Factor Fictional, the show where we look at cool tech from your favorite movies, video games, books, and comics, and ask, is this really possible? And if not, why not? As we all know, there are many technological aspects of Star Trek that we wish were real. Really, really wish they were real. And this week, we find out just how capable Scanadu's medical tricorder will be. But first, to the Twitters. At Bruce FP on Twitter says, no doubt we're making some amazing medical analytic tools, but they'll never be the magic do anything you need box of Star Trek, the original series. Very true, Bruce, very true. Before we talk to the tricorder engineers at Scanadu, I wanted to get the opinion of someone with some first-hand knowledge of this device. Well, kind of. Actor Garrett Wang, or as you may know him, Ensign Harry Kim. Do you have any funny, like, behind-the-scenes stories that you can tell us? Yeah, I have one that's kind of dealing with today's topic, um, tricorders. We would actually take our tricorders and we would do kind of a, a Wild West gunslinger thing where we would, um, we did the count to three or we pace it off and then we turn around and try to, uh, whoever, the first person to draw the tricorder and open it up fully was the winner of the, you know, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Who was, who was <laughs> the champion of that? Uh, I think uh, I think Tuvok was pretty good at it. He had pretty good uh, hand-eye coordination, so I think he might have won the tournament. What do you think are the most useful or practical features of the tricorder? Uh, well, it depends if you're talking regular tricorder or medical tricorder, obviously. Um, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> but a traditional tricorder, it's great. I think the most practical usage is that you can detect poisonous gases that you may walk into and might kill you immediately, so, you know. It's a survival tool. <laughs> so have you heard of the tricorder that Scanadu is currently working on? It's amazing. It's a medical tricorder, basically, right? And um, in terms of it, it scans your, your body and, and, and what's going on with you. Yeah? Yeah. Um, is this something that you would want to purchase? I mean, you're, I know you're not technically a medical doctor of any kind, but <laughs> it, would this be something that you would in, be interested in owning, or would you wait for the more commercial style, maybe non-medical, traditional tricorder? Uh, I, I think I, w I, th I think I would buy that technology. I would, just because I could have it around the house for all my hypochondriac friends that show up, so they could uh, they could scan themselves, so they know they're not dying. You know. Okay, now we must take the transporter to NASA Ames in Mountain View, California, to visit Walter from Scanadu. So, Walter, tell us a little bit about yourself and also what you're doing here at Scanadu. In 2005, suddenly found myself for a year in the hospital with my son. You suddenly realize I know nothing about medicine, and medicine is like is the most important thing in our lives because, you know, there is two big things in uh, poetry: uh, life and death, and the intersection is medicine. What do you think are the implications of, of giving someone who maybe doesn't have a lot of medical background or medical knowledge a device that's giving them that kind of information? Your heart rate and your blood pressure they go hand in hand, so there is a relationship between these two. So then you have invented algebra. And in the end, I will ask you, what do I have to do so that I will feel better? So you have to go from this point in time to another point in time. And, you know, in mathematics, we call it geometry. So basically, you have to go through the history of mathematics to understand a bit of and this is what the consumer will do with this data. Would this be the kind of thing where we could get the sim similar effects from doing like an MRI or a CT scan, but in some kind of handheld device? Or is that way down the line? I think that's more than five years because yeah. an MRI really, you know, like it's, uh, the resolution is so. And uh, um, I think that, uh, for instance, a simulated ultrasound or a simulated CT uh, would be possible, but then on, on very small areas, you know, of the body. Um, and, and still it is not possible today, but it could be possible. So tell me more about your device and how it works. This is our gateway device, because in the emergency room, they check for five uh, vital signs. And uh, actually four, you know, the fifth is, is a bit, you know, it's uh, very uh, particular. Uh, and these vital signs are the heart rate, so beats per minute. Um, there is the uh, temperature, your respiratory rate, and uh, so how many respirations per minute. Your um, uh, ECG, and uh, so which is also connected to your heart rate. Your uh, oxygenation, SpO2, in, in your blood. 
and your blood pressure. You know, so all of these things are, you know, when you go into an emergency room, you get these um, uh, displays next to you. They hook you up, and uh, they also put, you know, like a catheter because they want to do blood, or they might ask you probably also for your urine analysis. So we have covered that part of the diagnostic experience, you know, uh, the electronic side with all the signals. So at the same time, a line extension of that device is what we are ready with urine analysis. And uh, so saliva analysis, blood analysis, we still have to do that. That's not so easy. Is it possible that I could try out your device and sure, see sure, what, how sure. my readings look? Yeah. Take it in your left hand and then you have to put it on your temple here. So you have 82 heart rate, you know, it's quite normal. Is it, is it normal, normal or high? Yeah, no, 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 it's normal, it's, it's okay. normal. <laughs> Your blood pressure is completely okay. Good. Oxygenation, okay. Yeah. Good. Healthy woman, so I'm healthy not girl. In any, not in any immediate, uh, immediate chance of death. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, we are giving the medical tricorder a positively awesome fact. It's just a matter of time before we all have the ability to non-intrusively check our health and well-being with the wave of a wand. And you want your face on Fact or Fictional? Let me know your favorite technology from Star Trek. Until next week, I'm Veronica Belmont, and this is Fact or Fictional on TechFeed. Be sure to subscribe to see all of our brand new shows. And remember, new episodes every Friday. Wave of a wand. <laughs>